Welcome back to Robbie Mind. Now, my next guest is an actress, a producer, an entertainer. She has dominated Yoruba movies, English movies, streaming platforms. You can call her the box office queen and arguably one of the highest paid, if not the highest paid actress in Nigeria. It's a pleasure to have Tony Abraham on Robbie Mind. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you so much. So, how do you do it all? I mean, acting, producing, struggling between the English-speaking movies to the Yoruba-speaking movies. A lot of times, um, we see that actors are not able to cross over so good and they struggle, but you have been able to do it so well. Um, I'm just going to say it's, um, it's, it's God and hard work. And just, it's just God and hard work and um, determination. Once you're determined, then you're good to go. God and hard work. Now, in terms of doing the hard work, how important was it to know the right people, to be in a setting, maybe Kakos, to um, catch the eye of a producer, even down to complexion, do all those things play a role? Or if I'm hardworking and God-fearing, then I can be guaranteed a good career in Nollywood? Uh, no, you. I think um, a lot of things, like I usually say, what works for me might not work for other person. So I think humility, hard work, support. When you support people, when you push the job that you're in, it's very good. I think one of the things that works for me is because a lot of movies that um, a lot of people think I am the owner of the film, I'm actually not the producer. They're actually not my movie. But once I'm in a movie, I'll make sure I do the movie like mine. I'll advertise, I'll push the movie like it's mine. So a lot of movie, Elevator Baby is actually not my movie. Prophetess is actually not my movie. I wrote down quite a number of movies. They're not my movies. But the thing about me is, is once I'm in a movie, I'll put all my mind in it because I want the producer, I want the owner of the movie to make money. I want the person to be happy. I want the person to be successful. So I push it. So it's one of the things that has worked for me. And I'll say hard work. I would say humility, and I would say I, I hardly stress people on sets. You know, all these things together, obviously you you always be producers' delight. Mm. You always be their delight. So. Okay, now you're an actress, you're also a producer. Um, which do you prefer to do these days? Uh, because sometimes once people go into producing, they stop the acting. But we still see you acting and producing. Um, I think both. But... Like this year, I told my manager, I said, I really don't want to be really acting like before. So just this year, I did just three movies. My movie, um, there's this um, Bolan Leo Peter's movie, and then Muiwa the Molest movie. That's just it for this year. Because I, I want to start bringing up new faces. I want to start because I feel I'm, I'm not getting younger. So I'm trying to bring new faces. But when I see roles, when I see scripts that I really love, that will, I love this character. And sometimes the producer will just come and meet me. There's nobody that can take this thing. Like, you know, Kumiwa was like, Kumiwa Demola was like, Kumiwa was like, Tony, please, you need, because it's an emotional role. So I need you in this. I need you. So I'm like, okay, let me do it. So that's what I'm in for now. So not that I'll just keep doing every script, no. Just few, if it's important, if I read it, if I like it, then obviously if the producer is on my neck, then I'll do it. What about the money? Because I know that I've read somewhere, and that's why in my introduction, I was like, arguably one of Nigeria's, if not Nigeria's um, highest paid actress. Are producers paying as much? And are they able to pay your fees all the time? Yeah, of course. I get paid. Sometimes you can even be on percentage in the movie. They can walk up to you and tell you, okay, I'm going to give you percentage. You know, some, like Elevator Baby, it wasn't my movie, but... I was pregnant, so short. I had percentage in the movie. So sometimes if the money, what they're going to pay you is much, they will tell you, okay, we're going to give you so-so-so percentage in the movie. So some can do percentage, but I don't really ask for it. That's if you tell me you want to give me percentage, it's fine. If you can't pay, I'm even, if I'm fine by it, then I'll do it. So let's say yes, then if I'm going to collect cash, yes, they pay because they know your value. They know they're going to sell. I don't think, I've, I've never been in a movie that is not successful. Every of my movies have been successful. The one I acted and the one I produced. 
Okay. And how do you know that you are like the highest paid or one of the highest paid actresses in Nigeria? I don't, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm the highest paid. But like you said, you said, I am one of the highest paid. That means you have seen it somewhere. And okay, yeah, we get to know. Yeah, because um, I'm one of the highest, my movies are always one of the highest grossing, you know, which is good. It makes you work hard and it makes people that are coming after us to see that you can work hard and achieve whatever you want to achieve when you work hard and when you're focused. So through that, yes, of course. So we know all these things in the industry and people tell us and let us know. Now, we know that you dominate the box office when you come out with hit after hit. You do well on streaming platforms. And in your earlier answer, you said even when it's not your movie, you push it like it's yours. So yes. every time it seems like, oh, any movie she's in is going to sell, is going to sell. Yeah. Now, what's the secret sauce to that? Uh, it's just, like I said, I think it's just, it's just determination. It's just hard work. It's just you being focused. I'm, I'm, I'm a go-getter. I'm a go-getter. And I don't, words don't pull me down. They only pull me up. I can't do something now, you, you, you try to bully me or you bully my work. No, you're not pulling me down. You're pulling me up because I won't go down. That's when I will even go up. So when you don't abuse my work, when you don't abuse me, when you don't bully me, you don't bully my work, I feel relaxed. And I actually sometimes don't like it. So when you do it to me, it's fine. I enjoy it because it gives me reason to want to push. So I'll tell you, it's determination. Are you determined? Are you focused? Are you, are you hardworking? Are you ready? Are you ready? Is your mind ready? Are you willing? You know, are you ready to do this? Now, putting your work out there is always um, subject to film criticism. People have their opinions. People feel certain movies need to measure up to maybe Western standards in terms of production values, storytelling, the content, even down to casting. Um, how do you deal with the negative feedback? Because this day, anybody can type anything on the Internet. Um, like I said, it helps me. It helps me push more. It helps me work hard more. And, you know, like I said, I realized that social media is different from real life. They are two different things. And trust me, a lot of people on social media, they just want to crash crews. They are just crashing crews. When they see you, they love you. They will tell you they watch your movie. So when you criticize, like I usually say, if you criticize me with love, I will accept it with love. But when you downplay my job, you just say nasty things about my job, about me, it's fine. I won't say anything, but you are giving me a reason not to give up. And I will never give up. And that's just one thing about me. And how have you been able to manage the different aspects of your life being a public figure? So your marriage is out there, your, your family is out there, your work is out there. And people just pick and choose. They might just want to focus on your family per time or they focus on your movie per time. So how do you manage all of that? Uh, it's not easy, but um, you just have to keep going. And um, what worked for me is that me and my husband, myself, my husband and I, we, we came to an agreement. We told ourselves the truth. You know what? This is our marriage. It has to work and it must work. So what do we do? Trust me, I don't even criticize anything my husband posts. So when I'm on Instagram, I see my husband as a colleague. Like, whatever he wants to post, post. I don't. There was a time I saw a post. My husband posted something, you know, a lady. I think they were on set, so they were together. I saw comments. Some people were tagging me. Ah, is a married man? I didn't even ask him. I'm sure. I'll call me. I'm sure you're hearing this for the first time. Because there was no point. It's working. Because I want my marriage to last. I want my home. I married an actor. I'm ready. Also, does not even look at me. Sometimes I sit, when we are filming, I sit on a maze lap and it, nothing. We are filming. I'm tired. I want to sit some, And it will come on set. It, it doesn't, he knows me. He knows the person, the kind of person I am. So I will just make sure that, apart from my home, my home, when I'm at home, that's my husband. I don't joke. I respect my husband. I adore my husband. Do you understand? I listen to him. When it comes to my kids, he knows. That's my husband. But when we're on social media, he's my colleague. And I have to. But just so, sometimes, you know, sometimes when I just see his post, I would just be like, oh, I'll call me Rain, I'll call me fine, you know, that's it. But, you know, I just have to differentiate it. So I don't really, even, I don't 
I don't so try to tell So nothing on the blogs can can get no, you can, distracted. No, no. You know, you sometimes you can you you never say never, but I I believe, and I'm working towards it. I know nothing, absolutely nothing, is going to happen to my marriage because we both understand. I don't stress my. I don't tell my husband what to post. I don't even. I don't tell him. I don't even correct whatever he wants to post. He, my husband don't tell me what to post. It, we don't even tell each other what to post. He does his thing. I, I do my thing. When I want to produce, if I need money from him, he will support me. If he needs any from from, will support. But when we get to the house, he's the head of the family. You know, that's it. Okay. So. Now, we going back to social media. I know recently I saw you with a baby bump, and already the way the blogs were talking about it, you think, oh, she's pregnant now, and then. You read up you, and you look well. You see that this is actually a prosthetic baby bump. And then you're seeing action. You're seeing baby bump. You're seeing children. And then we find out that it's your new movie coming Malaika. out. Malaika. Tell us about the movie. Whew. Malaika is very dear to my heart because um, I actually passed through that phase. Um, I had my son when I was 39. You know, I had my son when I was 39. And, um, you know, I had past relationships, you know. And I tried to get pregnant, you know, but it wasn't working. It was a lot. So I had it when I was 39 years old. So, and I knew a lot of women going through that thing. And there was a time I went into abs to help women. I, that was when I was like, no. It got to a level I could not do it again. It was too much. And I was always emotional because I'm an emotional person. So I just feel that I need to talk about it. So, and I found out that sometimes... But sometimes it's not even medical. It is you. There are some things that you're not doing right. Don't, don't let me talk much about my Malaika. Malaika is coming out from 22nd of December in all cinema. So everybody will have the opportunity. But it's, it talks about pregnancy, fertility, stepdaughter, stepmother, family, men with low sperm count, women that have problems with um, their husband's family that think is about them kidnap it's it's a whole lot but it's a family story we have um, a jealous wife like i usually tell people it's not all men that get angry when their husband is jealous i have a lot of men that love it they love when their wife is jealous they feel that oh yeah he's putting me on check she's putting me on check oh yes i love it that makes me special so i just feel and we we, we don't talk about it enough and so it's in the movie so men enjoy it. So is it right? Is it wrong? For we, so it's a whole lot, but it's a family drama. It's PG. So you, everybody can watch it. Everybody. Baby. How much of your story is in there? Oh, God, you caught me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no way. <laughs> oh. Are you the jealous wife? Uh, 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 no way. Okay. Uh, Malika, a little bit of my life story, my... Uh, guys, just go and watch Malika from 20 seconds. Please don't let me talk about it. So, so if we want to get to know you more, we should definitely watch um, Malika. Yes, but not really. You know, when it comes to movies, there are some things we'll add, there are some things we'll remove, but a little bit about my life is actually a... Like, um, let me say, like 60% mm -hmm. about my life is actually in... Mm. In Malaika. And for women who are out there watching and are thinking, well, I'm too old now to have a child, or um, they say that once you're after a certain age, what message do you have for them? Or they're trying as, to get pregnant at all costs, or maybe, like you said, they've married into a family and there's all that expectation, especially in this part. Don't worry. You will be a mother, trust me. It's not easy. It's... it's, it's um. It's not a situation that I wish for my enemy because I've been there. You would, you would do anything. Someone will tell you, oh, one more boy, come and take this. You will take it. Come and see this pastor. You will go. Come and do this. You will just be going everywhere just because you want to be a mother. It's not easy. It's a difficult situation. I've been there, so I know. I have a lot of people I speak to. It's not easy. But I just feel people should stop asking people, oh, when are you going to be a mother? I get that often too. Oh, Ibaunire Magbaburo, come on. I want to have more kids too, but what will I do? It's not coming. I'm not God. 
There's nothing I can do. So, but when you ask me, I feel useless. And that's what happened to most of TTC moms. Stop asking them. Mm. They want to be a mother too, but it's not just working. Stop it. Stop doing that to them. Stop asking them when are they, when are they going to be a baby? When are they going to mm. get pregnant? And I, and I think, like you said, the movie addresses these things. Now, for someone who has remained in Nollywood from the Yoruba to the English and you, your market is still saying, selling, as we say, in local parlance. What would you say has kept you grounded? Do you, is it, do you have role models that you look up to? Um, do you have a set of values that you work with? What has kept you relevant? I can't say. But I know, I know there's something. You can say anything about me, but there are a few things you can say about me. I'm hardworking and I concentrate. I'm, I'm too focused. I'm, not, I'm never distracted. I'm a go-getter, and I go with the trend. I follow the... Then I think I've done a lot of things behind closed doors, a lot of good things behind closed doors that you don't know that are working for me. So, you know, like someone called me and said, oh, I'm seeing you with a lot of all these skit makers. You just call them, they're doing skits. Ah, can I go, can I... I say, yes, because you don't even know what goes on behind closed doors, you know. I've been good to people, so they will be good to me, and I will always be good to people. So I think it's part of it. Then hard work. I'm, I'm not stopping. Then I follow the trend. I have young friends. The lady that played them, my lead role in Ijakuma, she's my friend. I have little friends, you know. I have a lot of friends. Salo is my friend. Baby of TikTok is my friend. Stella, I have a lot of little, little friends. Speed. Then I have grown-up friends. Then I have people I look up to. My, my godmother, you know. I talk to my parents. So I talk to my mom too, my mother-in-law, you know. So it's always like that. I have different friends. So I go with the trend. I know these are, the, these are my little friends. They're my friends, but they all call me mommy. They call me mommy, but they're still my friend. So I go with their trend. I go with my own trend. I go with bigger trends. So I have friends in all age brackets, mm. and it's really working for me. So that is why I very know everybody. very accessible. I am. Okay. I am. Now, is there anything you won't do in a movie? Are there some, like, you and your husband have decided that when it comes to this kind of role, we cannot do it. We can't do certain things in a movie. Um, there's nothing. My husband can do anything. But, um, but there's, then I, I can do anything. But now there are some things I can do because of my daughter. I have a grown-up daughter now. She's in school. She handles her social media. So I wouldn't want my daughter to see some things. So there are some roles. Maybe you won't expose your body. No, or... I can't. I can expose my body if I'm talking about a, a, a different kind of things. Let me tell you about exposing your body. You can expose a body as a prostitute. I, can, I, I wouldn't do that. But maybe there's something that has to do with a mother exposing her body. Maybe something happened to the child. I can do that. Because people are not going to see that body. They're going to see a mother's love. Mm. So it depends on the script. And if you say expose, I can expose my back, but I can't. No, of course not. I can't expose this part of me. No, I can't. But I can still show my back. Mm. Just my back. I can show my back. And it has to be something that has to do with motherhood, that has to do with Christianity, that has to do with maybe um, a siyabalagi, that has to do with us, that has to do with people. It has to be from human angle. Mm. So it doesn't have to be, you know, so... Okay. So it makes a lot of sense, so why not? Now, in the past, we knew that um, the pirates and the producers really had a say in how well a movie does. But now that you have streaming platforms, you have um, subscription on TVs, you have um, cinema, which one works for you best? And how are you able to uh, make the most of all these distribution platforms available? Um, both. My distributor company is um, Film One. I've been working with them for like uh, six years. So those are the people I work with, and it's been, it's been cool. I think since I started working with them, I've been fine. Do you find that you make more from cinema compared to streaming platforms or going uh, straight to TV? It like depends. TV? Uh, I can't say. It depends on what you make in cinema. What you make in cinema would depend on what, if it's not original, it depends on what the streaming platform would buy. Mm. So it's, a, it's, really, it's really good. I started making money like, it should be six years now, yes. Six years this year, yes. Mm. Last year, I think it was like, like five years. So it's, I think, like six years. I started making 
cool money. Mm. And how important is it for um, practitioners in Nollywood to collaborate with their colleagues in Bollywood and Hollywood? Is that something that we should expect in your upcoming movies, um, that cross-country collaboration? Oh, I just did in Malaika. I brought Anne Kasime from Uganda. And that's, um, this is the first time she's going to be in a Nigerian movie, and that's the first time. I think um, this year was the first time coming to Nigeria. I think she told me that was the first time and Casimir was that, that was the first time she came to Nigeria. So I, I, I just did. So if I have a role, I will. I will bring the person. I've been talking to Aunt Casimir for like three, four years. We've been friends. We met on social media. And I felt like, oh, because I usually, I love as kids. Mm -hmm. And I think I want a character who has, well, I, I, I like as a, a kids. I like the character she plays. But I want it in a serious way. So that's why I had to bring her, and she, she, she delivered, and she didn't stress me. She's a wonderful person. She is a one. So, and we still have a lot of collaboration if, we, if um, the script goes with the person in maybe Bollywood or Hollywood. Definitely, we'll bring them into Nigeria, definitely. So one more time again, when is Malaika coming out? Malaika is going to be out in all cinemas from 22nd of December. But I don't know if we might start selling tickets earlier. Mm -hmm. Because um, I think we've been, I've been having calls from cinema and my distributor said something like that. But I know from 22, 22nd of December, Malaika will be in all cinemas in Nigeria. All cinemas. Any actresses or actors we should look out for apart from the one you mentioned from um, Uganda? Uh, New faces? Tony Abraham, I'm there. Tony Abraham um, and Kasime. Yes, then one of my girls, yeah. This is our first time on big screen. Her name is Abike Oluwak Pelumi, mm. but they call her Abike Sugar. Okay. She's, um, she's one of the lead role in the okay. film. She's my girl. She's, okay. She... So a lot to look out for for my life yes. uh, when it comes out in the cinema. Thank you very much to Abraham. You're welcome. It was a pleasure having you here you on so Robin Minds. Thank you.